Yeah, I take my health pretty seriously. No cheeseburgers after 10 p.m. <laughs> Very strict rule. <clears throat> All right, let's start with some facts first, shall we? Donald Trump is 73 years old. He was the oldest president ever elected to a first term when he won in 2016. He weighed 243 pounds in his annual physical earlier this year, which makes him technically obese for a man of his stature. Donald Trump takes medication for high cholesterol. He was diagnosed in 2018 with a very common form of heart disease for men his age. It's a condition that increases his risk of a heart attack in the next three to five years to moderate, according to the Mayo Clinic. Despite urgings from his doctors to adopt a healthier diet and work out more, that was me pumping iron, Trump has admitted that he has made few changes in either aspect of his life. Quote, the president received a diet and exercise plan last year after his annual physical but the president admits he has not followed it religiously, White House spokesman Hogan Gidley said in early 2019. Same, Donald. Same. Now, all of which brings me to an episode in mid-November that has lots of people talking. On an otherwise quiet Saturday afternoon in Washington, no golf for Trump, too cold, the president went to Walter Reed National Military Medical Center for an unannounced and unscheduled visit. White House Press Secretary Stephanie Grisham downplayed the whole thing. She told reporters that Trump went to get a, quote, quick exam and labs, end quote, as part of his broader annual physical, which is a little bit strange, but she did say this. He is healthy as can be. She told Fox News about the president, adding, he's got more energy than anybody in the White House. Uh, that man works from 6 a.m. until, you know, very, very late at night. He's doing just fine. Right, <laughs> sure. Got it. Here's the thing. There's ample reason to be at least a little bit skeptical of the White House's official explanation for Trump's unplanned hospital visit. And the main reason for that skepticism is that this is a president and a White House that regularly doesn't tell the truth. According to the Washington Post fact checker blog, Donald Trump has said 13,000 435 false or misleading things in his first 993 days in office, which, because math, is a lot. It's actually almost 14 a day, every day he has been president, every day. But it's not just that Trump has a general tendency toward dishonesty that should create suspicion about the White House's official line on the president's hospital visit. It's that Trump has fiddled with his own medical history before. So go back to December 2015, when questions were beginning to arise about Trump's age and health. His presidential campaign released a letter at that time from his personal physician, Dr. Harold Bornstein. Boom, there he is. Wrote Bornstein in the letter, quote, his physical strength and stamina are extraordinary. If elected, Mr. Trump, I can state unequivocally, will be the healthiest individual ever elected to the presidency, end quote. Yep. Trump's doctor really wrote that, or so we thought, because he didn't. As Bornstein told CNN in 2018, quote, Trump dictated that whole letter. I didn't write that letter. I just made it up as I went along, end quote. Oh. <laughs> so the letter was basically the extent of what we knew in total about Trump's medical history when he was elected president, because Trump didn't release any other medical records during the course of the campaign. Which, wow. So since being elected president, he has submitted to two annual physicals, both of which showed largely similar results. Trump is overweight, has high cholesterol, and as mentioned, doesn't eat well. So Trump is well known to favor fast food, as well as well done steaks, mm, and an extra scoop of ice cream, but not an extra scoop for you. He's the president. Now, as for exercise, Trump has a Interesting theory for that too, reportedly viewing every person as having a set amount of life force. So every action under Trump's theory you take drains the life force battery, with exercise being one of the biggest culprits. In the book Trump Revealed, two Washington Post reporters who wrote it write this, quote, Trump believed the human body was like a battery with a finite amount of energy, which exercise only depleted. So we didn't work out. When he learned that John O'Donnell, one of his top casino executives, was training for an Ironman triathlon, he admonished him, quote, you are going to die young because of this, end quote. Have a good day, John O'Donnell. When questioned about his own workout regimen in the White House, Trump said this in January 2018, quote, I get exercise. I mean, I walk, I this, I that. I run over to the building next door. I get more exercise than people think, end quote. <laughs> I'm convinced. What more do we need to hear? Here's the thing. The facts suggest Trump, because of his age, his weight, his diet, his uh, 
exercise regimen and his super high stress job as president of the United States is someone whose health should be closely monitored and tracked. Ideally by someone who is, you know, an actual medical doctor. And that is the point. We make new point episodes every Tuesday, Thursday, and a special impeachment focused third episode every weekend too. Check them all out.